speaking the truth to you from Stratford. Speaking the truth to you from Stratford. It's me, Ebenezer, again. Uh, for the past two days, I've been looking at Christian relationships. Christian relationships. I'm not talking about male-female relationship. I'm talking about brotherly relationship. Brothers, sisters, friends, as Christians. The relationship we've ha we should have as Christians. And I talk about Hideos and Sintike, and then I talk about Paul, Saul, and Barnabas. The question is, why should people that God has called together to work in the vineyard of God have been given the Holy Spirit, we should still live in such a life that we don't get on, despite the fact that we have had the Holy Spirit baptism. You see, we have to be very honest with ourselves. We have to be very honest with ourselves and get to the root of the human problem. We human beings have serious problems. And despite the fact that God has given us the Holy Spirit, things are not changing. Because the gospel tells us to renew our minds. If we don't renew our minds, we will justify everything we do. Now, the root cause of all this problem is selfishness, self-centeredness. Do you know the root of Adam and Eve's sin is selfish ambition? The devil wasn't created a devil. He became selfish. Self-centeredness turned him into a devil and he became Satan because he was not satisfied with what God made him, what God designed him to be and his function. He wanted to be more and he tricked Adam and Eve with the same thing that God didn't create you good enough. God has deceived you. There is more you can be, but God is hiding something from you. Eat this fruit and you will be like God. You will even be better than God. He knew that was the cause of his downfall, yet he tricked them and they fell and we became sin. Since we became sin, that appetite of being more, of being something more than we are, has been our problem. You know, it's the same trick he went to Jesus. Do this and that and that and that and you will be this you'll be this you know you are the son of god do that do that it's the same trick now you told me behind most of our struggle of not getting on with each other is identification we want people to recognize us that we are some people we are more than we are and it causes a problem so let's say if i'm dealing with you and you think i'm not treating you the way you feel you are then that becomes a problem Okay, that becomes a problem. So behind most of our this rivalry and anti-Holy Spirit character is selfishness. Selfishness. You ask myself, you ask me, what am I talking about? What is the problem between Paul and Barnabas? The Holy Spirit called the two of you. He says, separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work I have called them. They couldn't put their differences aside. They were too big. This person said, I'm right, I'm right. I am right, I'm right, I'm right. Go your way. They forgot that by the grace of God, they have even been called in the first place. They forgot that for the Holy Spirit of all the people, the Holy Spirit literally picked the two of them, said, I have a work to do and I need you people to do with it. Come and do with me. And then Barnabas want to introduce a third party and it becoming a problem let that th third party go and concentrate on the work that God. but because the third party will not be accepted the third party the holy spirit didn't call into that agreement because the third party will not be accepted by paul he said no more relationship completely ignore the work of the holy spirit you see why jesus said you don't know the spirit you are of when we read about jesus look at how he humbled himself bible said even though he was in the image of god he did not count it as robbery. He was able to become human, humble himself, and was used by the Holy Spirit. He didn't give the Holy Spirit problem. He didn't give the Father problem. He worked with the Holy Spirit perfectly. Wherever the Holy Spirit said he should go, he went. Why are we not learning from the Master? Why are we not? Listen. I don't know. If you have been to my country, my country... I came to from Ghana not far ago. I was shocked. The pride of preachers in Ghana. Go and see. 
everybody want to be somebody special so there are more billboards advertising balls of preachers more than even anything in ghana every it started from some one or two people then everybody is copying so you go to the country i don't know there are only few men of god in ghana that are, faces are not on big big box and my father is one of them i'm so proud of him he won't go that way but there are some people they they said we are the big shots in ghana we are you are the big shots in ghana and you your your statue is standing what's the start what's the difference between the statue of the liberty statue in america and that of yours sunny at every on every roadside in ghana you know the road cause of that pride and arrogance it's hard to say speaking the truth to you from ghana we the generation coming the young generation coming young old i don't know which is we but we the generation coming please we should learn from this and refute this kind of thing it's, it's not about us it's not about you it's about the lord don't go and paste a whole picture of you like a statue like nebuchadnezzar statue over there in your country what 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 would you gain from that putting that big billboard over there with your picture what would that what would you gain from that what does that speak of you i thank god there is no picture for jesus people even try to draw him people try to make a picture of him which is not him we should guide against these things and concentrate on the work of the holy spirit i'm speaking to you on something i call speaking the truth from Stratford. things that we were not told things that we shy to talk are from we our generation have to learn from it we should rather seek to be able to be in harmony with one another and work with one another peacefully do you know how many ministries have been destroyed because of pride and arrogance if it is not me it's not about you it has to be me i have to be the champion i have to be the ringleader it has to be so even ministries are centered around personalities rather than jesus personalities rather than jesus this person's ministry i'm building for ten thousand i'm building for fifteen thousand i'm building for that i'm building for that and some people even in the christian dom there are people that if you don't fellowship in the church if you are if you are not a member of their church no matter how you are christian they don't regard you for anything listen i've been to i've served ministries and i know what i'm talking to you about they will never if you stop fellowshipping with them if you stop the fact that you used to fellow when you were fellowshipping with them and god is using you over the years you are their brilliant brother but once you left there and you went somewhere else even though you are in the body of christ you they don't do a thing with you you become their enemy that's sad that's ignorance forget about those people they don't know what they are doing that's blatant hypocrisy hypocrisy and hypocrites will not enter into the kingdom of god you know jesus told the the, uh, the religious leader of read how many times he said you hypocrites you hypocrites you hypocrite having hates hypocrites and don't be what the fact that the person fellowships in another ministry and not your ministry doesn't mean they should become your enemy doesn't mean you should look down upon them doesn't mean they are not children of god like you it's a shame i'm speaking the truth to you from stratford you may not like what i'm saying but examine what i'm saying you will know that i'm speaking the truth the lord bless you all i'll come your way tomorrow to speak in truth to you from london stratford the lord bless you